Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John, this is Many a True Nerd, and welcome to a little topic that, as a British person, I spend quite a lot of time thinking about, and that is how to make the perfect cup of tea. So I wanted to put together a quick video guide so that all of you know how to do this. So here we are, this is the mug that I have chosen. Obviously, if you're doing this for more than one, then you'll probably want a teapot, but for just one, a teapot is a bit of a waste, so just use a mug. The first thing to add in is the tea bag. If anyone tells you they put the milk in first, that person is wrong, they are wrong. Tea bag goes in first. I personally prefer PG Tips, that's my favorite bag. I believe that the pyramid bag is superior. It's probably not, it's probably a marketing gimmick. After that point, you want to add in the sugar. Obviously, you want the sugar to be in the hot water as long as possible. So you don't want to add in the sugar after you've added the water because otherwise the sugar's got less time to dissolve and you want it to dissolve fully. Now, the next step you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set up the pentagram. And the clue is in the title of this. You have no idea how many people get this wrong. Pentagram has five points. This is the Star of David. This is a pentagram. So once you've got your pentagram set up, just return your mug to the centre of the pentagram. You don't have to be kind of bang on right in the centre, but just as long as it's in the central section, that's absolutely fine. Next, you're going to want to add in the water at this point from a freshly boiled kettle. And if you're going to be adding milk, make sure you leave enough room to add the milk later. So obviously the tea now has to brew for a couple of minutes, so you've got a good opportunity here to conduct the goat sacrifice. It doesn't actually need to happen at this point, but now's as good a time as any, and you will generally have a bit of a pause here where you're waiting for the tea to brew. If you happen to have got any goat's blood actually inside the mug, don't be afraid to just quickly get that out. That is not an offence against his dark lordship. As long as you've got a good amount of blood from the freshly slaughtered goat actually on your pentagram, that's all you need to do. It does not need to actually be inside the rim of the mug, so do feel free to just wipe that away. Next, you're going to want to give the tea a quick stir just while you'll also begin the invocation to summon our Dark Lord Alhazaret. Bear in mind, you must stir anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise is what summons our Hazared to our plane. If you stir clockwise, you are pushing him further away from our plane. He doesn't like that. When he does eventually come, he will bathe in the blood of a thousand children for each clockwise stir. So anti-clockwise only. Feast of the weaker. Feast for the deep temple. Al Hazaret, born again. And the very final step, you want to add in the milk. Generally, unless you've got a good reason to do otherwise, use semi-skimmed milk, that's the green top in the UK, or 2% if you are in America. And then you just keep pouring in the milk until you see the first cloud of milk appear up through the tea, as well as feeling the first wave of madness wash over you as our Dark Lord approaches. That's generally the point where you've got the right amount of milk in. And after a final quick stir, there we are, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you make a perfect cup of tea. Let me just give that a quick sample. That's pretty good. That is actually a pretty good cup of tea. I'm very happy with how that turned out. And now, after that, you should be feeling refreshed and also safe in the knowledge that our Dark Lord, Alhazared, is among us once again. And there we are, ladies and gentlemen, as the dark shadow of evil once again spreads across the world, cloaking us in eternal night. I've been John, this has been Many a True Nerd, and this has been a quick how-to guide to how to make the perfect cup of tea. Thank you very much, and goodbye.